Hey everyone, Robbie the Painter here. Welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Thank you for being here. You guys could be anywhere, but you're hanging out with me and I appreciate it. Um, today's going to be one of those episodes called the Just Because series where I show you paintings I felt like painting just because. And I did this one last night and I didn't plan on doing a painting and I didn't film it. But I wanted to show you no, that, that's not it. No, not that one. No, that, that's not even a painting. That's me with long hair about five, six years ago. No, no, not that one. This one. This one here. So this was the simple sky that we did a couple episodes ago. And I showed you guys how to do a simple sky. Uh, just a, a couple colors up here. And, uh, and then the next episode, we did this one, which was the simple background. And I liked it. I make all this stuff up as I go. I, I don't pre-plan anything. I, I don't look at a Bob Ross video or sometimes I get inspiration from other people or I'll see something in real life and I'll say, I like those colors or that looks cool. And it'll give me ideas and then I'll, that'll start percolating in my brain. And then uh, I finally get to a painting. But most of the time, I have no idea how it's going to turn out. I don't know where it's going most of the time. And I have to stand back and think about it for a little bit. But in this painting here, the simple background, I said we were going to do something in the foreground, something up front here. And I decided to do a little test session last night and just throw out an idea I had and do it on a practice canvas. In fact, the canvas had a hole in it. Um, I, it wasn't one I was going to use for a painting, but I, you know, I thought, well, this would make a good practice canvas. So I got that out and I started kind of making a similar sky and then it changed. And then I did similar colors for the background and then that started changing and this is what I ended up with. So, I wish I would have filmed it because it went a completely different direction than what I was planning on practicing for that other episode. This ended up being a painting all of its own. And as I was getting farther and farther along, I wish I hadn't used a canvas that had a hole in it or, or a throwaway canvas. I'm keeping it. I don't care if it has a hole in it. I love, I, I love everything about this. Um, but I turned it into the mysterious stranger and I'm doing a series on the mysterious stranger. This one is actually getting ahead of his journey because in my head I'm working out um, and I'm looking around my painting room because I have the very first mysterious stranger up on the wall behind you guys. Um, and oh, I can just video magic this one. So that's the first in the series. I'm also working on something back here behind me that's kind of hidden and that's going to be number two in the series. I didn't film the initial painting on that second one for the mysterious stranger, but I'm going to film from where I'm at to the end so you guys can see. And I don't know if it's going to be a tutorial. Again, it's hard to do a tutorial on stuff like this where it's, I'm thinking it up as I go. I'm, I'm making it up as I go. So, you know, uh, some painters have done the same landscape over and over and over and over again. And so they already know what they're going to do. That's not the case with the, uh, you know, some of my stuff just, you know, appears as I'm, as I'm making it up. So I think it turned out good. I was inspired. I'll say this. I'll, I'll give a shout out to a, a, I think he's a famous painter. Um, Stuart Davies, I believe he lives in France. He's English. Um, he also has a YouTube channel and that 
uh, good sense of humor too. He does trees like this where he shows dark and light and dark and light and dark and light and that. And I saw a, a couple of his paintings have this kind of a, a light background with like a tree line and you can see right through and that instead of doing, you know, just hammering a solid tree line and that you leave bits of uh, light. Same with these down here. Um, I thought these turned out good. And I don't know if you guys can see up close, but the mysterious stranger, I put his footprints in and this path winds around and comes up and he's overlooking the valley there. And don't worry, he's not going to jump. He's got more uh, places to go around the world on his journey. And I'm kind of excited about this Mysterious Stranger series um, because I think he's going to, who knows where he's going to end up. But um, I'm going to do some paintings featuring this Mysterious Stranger. I don't know if we're ever going to see his face. Maybe he'll, he'll be mysterious um, till the end. Maybe I'll do a reveal. But I'm having fun with that idea. Anyway, I wish I would have filmed this from the beginning. Again, it was going to be just, you know, I was in my pajamas and, and I thought I was doing a practice painting. It wasn't going to be anything special. And apparently I can't do that. So, um, yeah, it turned out better than what I thought. I, I love these mountains. Um, and there's some really good artists, you know, in some of the painting groups I belong to. I'm thinking of Jeff's oil paintings. Um, very good Bob Ross style artist. His mountains are amazing. These are not that kind of a mountain, but I think it works in this painting. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I, I can't paint like, uh, like Jeff does. So I have to do me and make sure you guys do you doesn't matter where I'm at or where you're at or anything like that. You, it, it's your canvas. You know, these are words of wisdom. You guys let me know, drop down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think about this. Already in some of my painting groups, some of the people have said, put a dragon up there or that. I'll do another painting. I've done some dragons before. I've done a couple. Uh, I don't know how good they are. I'll, I'll share those with you guys uh, on another episode, but maybe we'll do this kind of idea this kind of perspective um, and, and put a dragon. Another uh, painting friend, Manakshi Sundarizan said to put some more planets, same kind of idea, do planets. Maybe I'll do a dragon and then some, some planets in there. But I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys. I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.